Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate you how you can add an organizer to a new event as well as to an existing event from the backend. Okay. So first we're going to like create a new event and I'm going to show you how you can add an organizer to that event. So without wasting time, let's click on add new under event manager. So that will take us to the event submission from at the backend side. I'm going to fill out these details very quickly. So I have filled pretty much all the informations required for the event and over here in the event data section, you will find the organizer. Okay. So over here, if you click, you will find a select drop down that lets you select all the organizers available in the website. Okay. I'll explain later on how to add a new organizer in the website from the backend. But if you select one organizer from here, that will get assigned into this event instantly. Okay. So not one, you can assign like more than one organizer into an event. So if, if you want, you can assign like one, two, three and so on, so on. Okay. So that's how you actually assign or add an organizer to your event when creating the event from the backend, like fresh event. Okay. So if you go ahead and like hit on publish. So before that, let me select the uh, event type over here. Okay. And then we can actually go ahead and publish this event. So let's publish. And then we're going to take a look at the event in the front end side. Okay. So this is the event details page. And if you scroll down, you will find the organizer details in the bottom section over here. Okay. So pretty simple how to add an organizer to your event when creating freshly. Okay. So coming on to the second scenario, how you can add an organizer to an existing event. Okay. So take a look at this event over here saying, thank you. It doesn't have an organizer uh, included inside it. Does it? Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on edit. Okay. And I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to modify the start date a little bit. So let's say this one and this one. Okay. Good enough. And you will see the same organizer input field is being visible over here as well. Okay. So same principle. If you click, you will be able to select one or more than one organizer for that event as well. So let's select this organizer. And if we go ahead and click on publish, and now if I open the link in the new tab, we will see that event now has an organizer over here. Okay. If I remove the organizer from the event and update this event once again, then reload the event details page. So then you will be able to see how the event details page will look like without an organizer. Okay. So I covered both scenario, how you can add an organizer to an event while creating the event from scratch or like fresh event, or how you can add an organizer to an existing event from the backend side. So come join me in our next video where we will talk about the same from the front end side and we will have an in-depth demonstration. So until next time, I'm Shara saying goodbye. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.